Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, ang pag-uusapan natin ay chain rule of differentiation. If you are given with a composite function, y is equal to f of g of x, we let our inner function yung nasa loob na g of x be equal to u. After doing this, then yung derivative ng ating y, where our g of x is already u, y is equal to f of u, is given by dy over dx is equal to, kukuhanin muna natin yung derivative ng y with our inner function as u, with respect to u, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative ng inner function natin na g of x with respect to x. Para mas maintindihan natin siya, let us apply this on our examples. We have our first one, y is equal to 3x plus 1 raised to 8. Meron lang tayong dalawang terms dito, 3x plus 1, kaso ang problema natin, masyadong mataas yung exponent. Kaya magiging mahaba yung nandito kapag i-expand natin siya. Para mas masimplify natin yung pagsasolve ng derivative niya, we just follow the steps here. Kuhanin natin yung nasa loob. We let u be equal to our 3x plus 1. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin to, pinalitan natin to as u, our function, our equation will become 3x plus 1 will become u. So this is u raised to 8. Now getting the derivative, applying our chain rule, kasi we are left with a function of u na nandito. Following the formula, we have dy over dx, this is just equal to the derivative of y with respect to u. So, sulat natin the derivative with respect to u nung y natin that is already equal to u raised to 8. Eto, pwede na lang natin siyang gamitan ng power rule. And then, for our next one, imumultiply daw natin siya. So, we will be multiplying it to the derivative with respect to x nung u natin that is just equal to 3x plus 1. So, the derivative with respect to x of 3x plus 1. Now, we apply our basic rules of differentiation. As we recall, the derivative with respect to x of x raised to n, kapag ka meron tayong derivative of a power, ang ginagawa natin is yung exponent ay binababa lang natin. We have our n, tapos we multiply x, tapos yung exponent natin ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, we have n minus 1. Gamitin natin to, pero we are getting the derivative with respect to u. So, this is just equal to, following derivative of a power, ibababa natin yung exponent na 8. So, this is just equal to 8. Tapos, we copy our u. Tapos, yung exponent ay babawasan ng isa. So, we have 8 minus 1. And then, etong buong to, ay imumultiply natin dun sa derivative ng 3x plus 1. Ilalabas lang natin si 3. We have our x here, meron siyang exponent na 1. So, ibababa natin. So, this is 3 times 1. Tapos we have our exponent of x that is 1 ay babawasan din natin ng isa. Tapos na tayo kay 3x, now we have our 1. This is just a constant. The derivative of any constant is just equal to 0. Kaya kapag kinuha natin ang derivative ng 1, that is just equal to 0. Now we only need to simplify our terms. This is equal to 8. Tapos u, 8 minus 1 is 7. Imumultiply natin siya kay 3 times 1. This is just 3. Tapos, this will become x raised to 0. If we have a 0 exponent, that is just equal to 1. So, this is 3 times 1. x raised to 0 is just 1. Kaya, ang matitira lang dito sa buong to is just 3. Then, we add 0. 3 pa rin siya. So, this is times 3. Then, we multiply. 8 times 3. This is equal to 24 u raised to 7. And then, ibalik na lang natin siya. In terms of x, our u is just equal to 3x plus 1. So, this is equal to 24 times ang u natin is 3x plus 1, and then this is all raised to 7. This is the derivative of our y with respect to x. This is our answer. Applying our chain rule dun sa given natin, kinuha lang natin yung 3x plus 1. This is our inner function. We let this be equal to u. Tapos ginamit na natin yung formula for the chain rule. Ang importanteng konsepto pagdating sa chain rule is kailangan natin kuhanin yung buong function. This is our outer function. Kukuhanin natin yung derivative niya, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung kinuha natin sa loob. With this, we can proceed with our second example. We have y is equal to x cubed plus x minus 1 raised to 5. First, let us decide dun sa inner function natin. We have x cubed plus x minus 1 na nasa loob. So, we let that be equal to u. We have our u that is equal to x cubed plus x minus 1. And then, kapag pinalit natin ang u dito, our y will just become u raised to 5. Then, pwede na natin siyang gamitan ng chain rule. 
we have our dy over dx. Kuhanin na natin directly in derivative. Derivative ng y natin ng u raised to 5 with respect to u, applying power rule, ibababa lang natin yung exponent na 5. So we have 5 times u. Tapos bawasan natin ng isa, we have 5 minus 1. And then imumultiply natin siya dun naman sa derivative nung nasa loob. We have x cubed plus x minus 1. Starting with x cubed, ibababa natin yung exponent na 3. So we put down 3, x. Tapos yung exponent natin ay bawasan ng isa, we have 3 minus 1. And then we have our x here plus, ang exponent nito is 1, ibababa lang natin, we have 1 times x, tapos yung exponent ay bawasan din natin ng isa. And then we have our 1 here, constant lang naman siya, the derivative of a constant is this equal to 0. So we have minus 0. Then we simplify, this is equal to 5u, 5 minus 1 is 4, tuloy natin yung multiplication, we multiply it to 3, x raised to 3 minus 1, this will become x squared. Tapos again, we have a 0 exponent here, x raised to 0. This will become 1 times 1. So this is just equal to 1. So this is just equal to 5. Ang u natin is x cubed plus x minus 1. And then this is raised to 4. Tapos nakamultiply siya kay 3x squared plus 1. This can be your answer, pero kung gusto mong tanggalin yung constant, i-multiply na lang natin kay 3x squared plus 1. We cannot multiply it directly here kasi meron pa tayong exponent na 4. So this is just equal to multiplying. We have 5 times 3 is 15 x squared. And then 5 times 1, that is 5. So we have 15 x squared plus 5 multiplied to x cubed plus x minus 1 raised to 4. This is the derivative of our y with respect to x. Now we already applied our chain rule of differentiation. Again, kinuha lang natin yung nasa loob. We let this be equal to u. Tapos dahil in terms of u na siya, pwede na natin siyang kuha na ng derivative. Pero dahil kumukuha tayo ng derivative with respect to x, kailangan pa natin siyang i-multiply dun sa derivative ng inner function natin. So this is how we apply chain rule of differentiation for this example. Now let us have our last example. So we have here, y is equal to 1 all over x raised to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 1. This is all raised to 4. Medyo komplikado lang siyang tignan, pero if we apply the concept of negative exponents, mas magiging presentable na siya at mas madaling kuhana ng derivative. So this is just equal to our y. Since nasa denominator etong part na to, if we will be getting the reciprocal ng buo, then makakarating tayo sa isang negative exponent. Kasi as a recall, if we have x raised to negative n, this is just equal to 1 over x raised to n. Ang gagawin natin from here, pupunta tayo dito. So getting the reciprocal, this is just equal to x raised to the fourth minus 5 x squared plus 1. Dahil tinaas natin siya, this will become raised to negative 4. Ngayon na nandito na tayo, we can directly apply our chain rule. So we let u be equal to our inner function x raised to the fourth minus 5 x squared plus 1. And then kapag ka pinalit natin to, we let this be equal to u, our y will just become u raised to negative 4. Then getting the derivative, derivative of y with respect to x, this is just equal to applying derivative of a power, ibababa ulit natin yung exponent. So we have negative 4, tapos imumultiply natin kay u, and then yung exponent na negative 4 ay babawasan natin ng isa. So this is for the first part, then multiply natin siya dun sa derivative ng nasa loob. So we will be getting the derivative ng x raised to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 1. Then applying again, derivative of a power, ibababa natin si 4. So we have 4 times x. 4 minus 1, bawasan na natin. This is 4x cubed minus, we have 5. And then ibababa natin yung exponent na 2. So we have 5 times 2. And then x, bawasan natin ng isa si 2. We have 2 minus 1, that is 1 x raised to 1 or just x, and then 1 here, ang derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Now we simplify, this is equal to negative 4 u, negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5, and then multiplied to 4, and then x cubed, tapos dito we have 5 times 2 is 10, so this is 10x, plus 0 na lang naman, kaya we can close this one. Tapos we can multiply yung negative 4 dito, kay 4x cubed minus 10x para kapag ka nag-substitute tayo ng value ng u, mas simple na lang. So this is just equal to negative 4 times 4x cubed 
we have negative 16 x cubed. Tapos, negative 4 times negative 10 x, that will become positive 40 and then x. Then this is multiplied dito sa u, raised to negative 5. As we recall, our u is just equal to x raised to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 1. Substitute na lang natin to. We have our dy over dx. This is equal to, kopyahin pa rin natin to. We have negative 16x cubed plus 40x. And then our u is equal to x raised to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 1. This is all raised to negative 5. So this can be your answer. We have here the derivative of our function. Pero if you want to transform this negative exponent, pwede natin siyang ibaba. So this is also equal to our dy over dx is equal to numerator. Ito ay hindi naman naka-negative exponent. So we have negative 16 x cubed plus 40x. And then this is all over the denominator. We have x raised to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 1, and then dahil binaba na natin to, this is all raised to 5. This is another form of our derivative. And finally, ito na yung basic examples natin when it comes to chain rule of differentiation. With this, I hope that you have learned something. See you on the next video.